Most guys chase average in a daze. But you're here because you're prepared to face reality, grow up, and learn the real world. So how about we work things out for you? No more playing small. No more making excuses. It's time to explore the five game-changing secrets that will make you truly dangerous. Chapter 1 Master all your fear through exposure. Listen, if you want to become a man who's truly dangerous, you have to confront your fears head on. No bullcrap fear is the anchor that keeps most of you guys attached to mediocrity, but you are not most guys are you the path to. Mastering fear is paved with exposure that means willingly diving headfirst into the abyss of your deepest, darkest anxieties. It means looking your fears dead in the eye and saying, I own you, not the other way around. Now I'm not talking. About starting small, that's for the week. I'm talking about diving into the deep end of the pool. No life jacket, no lifeguard, and no looking back. It's terrifying, right? Damn right it is. But guess what? The moment you take that dive, you start to dismantle fear's stranglehold on. You weaken its grip with every calculated risk, every audacious move, and every time you venture into the unknown here is a little secret for you. In just six months, you can transform yourself from a quivering wreck to a fearless warrior. Don't believe me? Look at the military. Those folks don't have the luxury of starting small. They're thrown into the most intense fear-inducing situations imaginable, and they come out on the other side as mental juggernauts. Now you might not need to enlist, but you sure as hell can adopt their unflinching mindset. Start by identifying your fears. The ones that have been holding your hostage for far too long, write them down, stare at them in the face, and then systematically set out to conquer each and every one of them. This process is painful. It means realizing that you might be a little squirrel or nobody. But that can change, and you know it. Chapter 2 Physical well-being alright? Beyond aesthetics, let's be really honest about this. If you're not physically fit in every way, your gym selfies and mirror muscles don't mean that you can squat. You might be able to bench a few plates or squat like a powerlifting gym, but can you run a marathon without tiring? Can you carry a heavy pack on your back and track through difficult terrain all day? If not, you're only dipping into the definition of being physically formidable. To be truly physically fit, one must not only look good but also possess the strength to conquer any obstacle life presents. One such example is the Danish Frogman, an elite special forces unit whose first fitness test entails a 30-kilogram backpack hike over difficult terrain. This is just the start. The real trading doesn't start until after. I'm not suggesting that you train to be a special forces operator, but rather that you reevaluate what constitutes fitness. It won't do to go to the gym three times a week and work on your biceps. A true physical tank is someone who can persevere through difficult circumstances and come out on top. Victorious, consider this. In an emergency situation where anarchy reigns and your ability to survive depends on your physical prowess. Would you rather be the person who has to gasp for oxygen after a brief sprint or the one who can run for miles on end while bearing the weight of the entire planet on his shoulders? If you're watching this video, I can assure you that you haven't reached Chapter 3. Unwavering perseverance, let's discuss a topic that most men steer clear of. Unwavering perseverance, the ability to overcome unrelenting hardship, is what defines a true man. So it's time to let go of the victim mindset and accept the harsh reality that life may be incredibly unjust. Head on and never give up. Life doesn't owe you anything. It doesn't care about your justifications, your struggles, or its ability to provide you with success on a silver platter because you believe you deserve it. Life is an unrelenting instructor that will present you with obstacles that will cause you to reevaluate what you previously believed to be true. Here's where most men go wrong. When they face hardship or adversity, they tend to play the victim. They cry, gripe, and give up, blaming everyone and everything but themselves for their shortcomings. But let me tell you something. Being a victim never gets you anywhere. True strength is found in accepting the dark and looking for painful setbacks and heartaches as learning experiences. It's about realizing that every setback and every defeat is an opportunity to grow stronger, wiser, and more unwavering in your quest for excellence. Consider the guys who have made history, the titans who shaped the world. Do you think they got there by whining about how difficult life was? No. They overcame impossibly difficult challenges and persisted in moving forward in the face of hardship. To find them, they understood that persevering through the worst of times is the source of great strength. Section 4 OK 
So let's talk about cultivating a stoic mindset in a world that frequently appears chaotic and unpredictable. This might be your go-to tactic for keeping your cool and making wise choices. First, let's define stoicism. This ancient Greek philosophy tells us to accept the things we cannot control and to concentrate on the things we can. It involves developing emotional fortitude, intelligence, self-control, and a profound sense of inner serenity. Let's examine why this is crucial in the modern world. 1. Regulate your responses. Life will toss you a variety of curveballs, some enjoyable and others unpleasant. The key to adopting a stoic mindset is learning to regulate your reactions to these circumstances rather than allowing rage, irritation, or fear to control you. You'll develop the ability to react coolly and logically. To keep an eye on the important things in a world full of distractions, a stoic mentality helps you focus on the important things in life. You'll stop wasting time and energy on unimportant things and put them toward your objectives, your relationships, and your own growth. 3. Attain inner tranquility There are times when the world is loud and chaotic. With a stoic mindset, you can find inner serenity in the middle of chaos. You'll learn to separate yourself from the outside world and discover calmness inside yourself. Therefore, how can you cultivate a stoic attitude? I know it sounds simple to discuss, but it's difficult to implement. This is a small amount of assistance, but it's insufficient. If you truly want to fill in and modify the teachings, read a book. Awareness of oneself begins by objectively monitoring your feelings and ideas. Recognize that. While you have no influence over every external incident, you do have control over your internal responses. Accept that some things are beyond your control. Attempting to change the unchangeable will only cause frustration. Concentrate on the things you can control. 3. Cultivate fortitude. Develop the ability to tolerate adversity with grace. Recognize obstacles as opportunities for personal development. As the phrase goes, the way is the obstacle to cultivating gratitude in the midst of adversity. By reminding yourself of your blessings, you can change your perspective and stay optimistic. 5. Exercise self-control. Stoicism necessitates self-control in both behavior and response. It's about carrying out the necessary tasks, even if they're uncomfortable. Chapter 5. Possess the mentality of a Navy SEAL all right. Let's get real and discuss what it means to possess the mentality of a Navy SEAL. David Goggins is the best example of a SEAL, and I won't lie, this is pretty serious stuff. The thing about Navy SEALs is that, in addition to their intense training, what makes them stand out is their mindset. These guys don't just embrace pain, they actively seek it out and welcome it with open arms, and that's exactly what Goggins did. He is a living example of the strength of the human mind and what can be accomplished with sheer willpower. David Goggins was not born superhuman. Rather, he was an overweight, insecure man in a meaningless job. But he decided he had had enough of being average, and he did the unthinkable. He changed from being an overweight man to a Navy SEAL and one of the greatest ultra-endurance athletes in history. But this transformation wasn't just about his physical attributes. Goggins also developed a mindset that refused to accept limitations. He realized that the mind gives up much sooner than the body does, so he used mental fortitude to find his true strength. What can you learn from David Goggins about the SEAL mindset? Despite facing extreme challenges like running hundreds of miles in a single session, finishing the infamous Hell Week three times, and constantly pushing his body to the verge of exhaustion, Goggins never wavered in his belief in his own strength and endurance. It's truly that easy. Quit playing it safe, quit offering reasons, and quit accepting mediocrity. Begin accepting discomfort. Begin looking for challenges and beginning to push yourself outside your comfort zone. Goggin frequently states that even if you believe you're done, you're only at 40% of your actual potential. Give that some time to register. Remember this. How many times have you given up when things became hard? How many opportunities have you missed because you were too afraid to push yourself? Accept discomfort, rule your thoughts, and never, ever offer an explanation. Greatness's path is forged to are you the kind of man who will make that happen?
Someone with unwavering discipline and unrelenting resolve backslash.